your beginning in the fashion industry. We need to look at the beginner aspects, not just in specialization. Okay, it has to be in a general knowledge. So once you understand all of this, and some others do, um, do a lot of things from from corporate wares to native wares to men's wares to street wares to casuals to, to almost everything. Okay, so you need to really understand what they do and if you can actually cope um, with it. Now, the next quick, big question is do they actually fit? Do they actually fit? That is another question, and this question is not a yes or no answer. It does not have a yes or no answer because if you're looking at the school by what the students showcase, fine, that is good, but that does not guarantee the knowledge that you're going to be getting. Some students actually know a lot before going to the fashion school for upgrade, so they may just be using the knowledge they have before to show what they are doing. Some students actually, um, on their presentation, their fashion teachers will help them to drop their pattern and even in the sewing. It happens. So what is your case is not what guarantees that you're actually going to learn. Okay, but then a good percentage of kids shows that you're actually going to learn. I'm not trying to um, make it look bad that showcasing is not a good idea. It's actually a good idea because um, in most cases, you don't showcase what you don't have. Even if it's the teacher that drafted it, at least he or she knows what they are doing. Okay, but then it's way more than that. You cannot just guarantee these things. And it's not just about by the number of students, even though that is um, another way to know when the school is doing well, because if they are not, too many students will not be rushing them. Okay, so, but then it's just way more than that. You need to be more careful when choosing a school as per how, what if, um, sorry, as per if they are actually going to teach. Okay, so you need to make your research very well ask questions. But there are also teachers who do not have much students because they are trying to start up. They are new in the industry, so they don't have too many students. So you would use the showcasing to determine if this one's actually going to teach or not. You need to have uh, make your due diligence. You need to follow these ones on social media to see how they run their things, what they are up to, what they teach online, how they do their things, and determine if it is what you can actually cope. At least have a one on one discussion with the tutor, with the owner of the school, to ascertain if he or she is able and willing to teach and if there are people that you can actually learn from. Okay? So we've actually covered a lot of things about um, choosing a fashion school in Nigeria. I know this is not all, but then, like I said, we're not going to be wasting much time. So if there's actually something I forgot to do, which I know there are so many other things to look at, we're probably going to see in the subsequent, um, either, um, sit, uh, either in video or in a live like this, we're probably going to talk about it. Okay, so this is it for now. Choosing a fashion school, I hope you've learned something um, reasonable from this, and I hope to see your comments in the comment section. Okay, so thank you for watching. My name is Justice. Right now, we do not um, have a fashion school for now, but we're hoping to begin by January next year. Location is Rio, but there is no accommodation. Okay, so thank you for watching. Bye.